I, as, you, as he said, my name is Jasper Smith. I'm actually one of one of the people that actually lives in Larry Kissel's district. Uh, uh, Larry, when Larry was running for Congress, we seen Larry. We, he came to my community. I, I live in the Greer Heights community, which is uh, one of the uh, African American communities left in the city of Charlotte. Mm -hmm. uh, there's about over 80% of that community, both uh, senior citizens, adults, and kids that doesn't have health care. Mm -hmm. Now, when he was running for Congress in this community, and he came out to this community, he promised us that when this health care thing came about, that he was going to be all for it. Mm -hmm. Now, for him to, to, to redig on what he told us, in a sense, mm -hmm. it's, it's it's very hope, hurtful to me. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not hurtful to me for personal reasons, but it's hurtful to me because I see it in my community every day. You know, so in a sense, I'm, I'm, I'm extremely disappointed in him for that. And so, and I'm also disappointed because he came to us and told us that he was going to vote for this, and we got out and knocked on over 25,000 doors for this man to get elected. And, and, it, and it's extremely strange to me for this man, when he ran for Congress, he ran up under the campaign for change. Yes, that's, that's right. right. He, sure that's did. Right. he right. ran up under the campaign for change, but now you're going to vote against change, mm -hmm. uh, especially a change that needs to be made in, in, these, in our communities. That's right. That's right. So to me, I'm, I'm angry with him about that. Mm -hmm. I, I, you know, so I'm trying to keep a little by composure together and, and let you guys know what's going on but uh we're really not happy with what's going on and if larry can't get the job done i'm, I'm pretty sure we can find somebody that can yeah. 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 and it, 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 it to me it will not be a hard job because of the people i talk to on a regular and he's he's claiming that he doesn't want to vote for health care because it, it it, uh, it's gonna cut, gonna cut Medicare, go cut into the Medicare. It's, it's gonna cut into the seniors, and the seniors are not gonna get the health care they want. They're not getting the health care they need right now. That's right. That's exactly. They're not getting the health care they need right now. That's right. So if this health care bill is gonna help everyone, including our seniors, this health care bill doesn't state that seniors can't be included. Mm -hmm. So if it's better than Medicare. And, uh, it can work alongside with Medicare to give seniors better health care. Why not vote for it? That's right. That's what I want to know. Maybe he needs to and, get it done to change. And then, and then he's talking about it's going to cut jobs and raise taxes and all that. Anytime something something drastic like this happens, a major bill, and to me, it's common sense. Thank you. It's common sense. The more people that's insured. The more, the more, the, the, the more people, the, the more people, the insurance company are going to hire, have to hire to cover yeah. all of us. Amen. Uh -huh. So it's going to create jobs. That's right. Yes. That's right. Tell them. Uh -huh. So to me, what he's saying is that. That's right. It, it doesn't make any sense to me. None at all. So I'm, I'm just here to let y'all know that everybody's disappointed, and if he's not going to get the job done for his people. The reason we, we put him in office, then we're going to get him out of office. Oh, yeah.